I didn't want to go on the road with them. You know, you're singing backgrounds, and then you go up, and he sticks his tongue down your throat, you know, for 12 minutes. And you sing this incredible solo, and that's it. And you have a lot of drama to contend with. And at the time, I was playing the lead in Hair on Broadway. I was in the movie of Hair. Um, you know, work. I was working all the time. So I had my own stuff to do. And at the same time, uh, right around then, um, I was able to get a record deal because of the Paradise thing. Ian Hunter and Mick Ronson got involved, and I went in with them in the same studio where we made the Beatloaf record, and then went from there. This has been my neighborhood for a long time. It's seen me through so many parts of my life. You know, it's crazy. You and me, baby, we don't feel at all. Remember, there was sort of a German restaurant right here. Now we have Candle West Organic Cuisine. There were some families. There weren't a lot of families yet. It was old people who'd lived there for a long time. Now I'm the old person. I've lived here. I'm the old lady, you know, that's lived in the apartment forever. I just can't wait for the night to come. Cause when the shadows cover the light, we're the only one. But baby, we Everybody talks about how terrible the 70s were, but that's when I came to New York. It, it was a little rough, you know, where I lived as a single person. And I mean, I reveled in it. I loved it. And uh, instead of this health food store, it was the party cake bakery, and the party cake hookers were in front. And you'd see them there, and then the cop cars would come up and talk to them all the time. Very gritty hookers, you know, a lot of violence. It was dark and it was kind of dirty. You know, going to clubs and, you know, taking a lot of chances as young kids. and you know, feeling impervious to any kind of danger or anything like that. You know, I came up with the concept for the song about working class people who had to suffer through a very mundane a difficult kind of kind of life during the day in the way they would work. Music that we hear in our hearts gives us something to dream of. And then how you were able to go out and ah, look at this great, ugly, beautiful life that I can take in and how it was super romantic. Super romantic. There used to be, there were these little stores called Smilers that were kind of like bodegas, you know, late night stuff. And that was kind of all that, that was around, you know. But it's so weird, you think about, what did I eat when I was 25? I don't even remember. Did you cook? What did, did you go out? So, you know, you didn't, you didn't care what the, what the amenities were in your neighborhood, because there weren't many, you know. You know, there were eventually some supermarkets, but. I was probably not around during the day much, so I don't know. I was sleeping, I came out at night. They only come out at night. 